This is MikeBot. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this Aquarium Smart Feeder. I picked this up from Amazon like usual. Uh, I think for 20 bucks. This is the AF219B model. Um, it's got fairly good reviews, hence why I picked it up. My other one that I had was a really good one. I dropped it on the water, stopped working. So I've decided to try this one out. Um, there's not really much to explain on this. You basically put the fish food in a little tank, set the timer, and it spins around once a day feeding your fish. So I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing this. Okay. So it looks like it's just one piece. Take the cover off. This piece will clip onto your tank. Spin this around to adjust the size. Back here, it looks like you'll be putting two AA batteries. Typically this comes off like that, yep. Shoots the air into there, which is what uh, causes a smart feed feature. The little feeding tube, you can adjust the size. So right off the bat, um, I had one called National Geographic before this, and it was much higher quality than this, but I also paid three times the amount. So to put fish food in, if it's like my National Geographic one, Probably just pull that open, drop all the fish pellets or whatever animal you're feeding pellets in there. Clip that back on. I'll have to do a full demo obviously once I get the batteries put in this and get this thing hooked up. Looks like it's also got some sort of 3M adhesive tape in case you don't want to use the uh, little stand it comes with. I'm pretty sure that's going to be fully removable. And then it's got a set of instructions which will probably tell you how to program this. So next, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and install this on my fish tank, put the fish food in. Uh, I might as well do it on video, and uh, we'll take it from there. All right, so here's my fish tank. So first thing I'm going to do is, uh, here's the feeder. I'm going to go ahead and put in two AA batteries. The unit turns on. As you can see. So next I'm going to go ahead and remove this part here. Grab my fish food. Pull the little green thing off. Try not to make a mess while I do this. Oh, of course I made a mess. Okay, so it's fairly full. You don't want to overfill it. You want to be able to get the air to push the fish food out. It's basically just shooting uh, air pressure out. Put the cover back on like so. Actually, before you do that, I forgot a very important step. I don't know if you guys do this, but I do it because it makes a difference. I usually crush the pellets in here because they're way too big for the fish kind of a small fish is going to be eating a pellet that size so I like to crush them into smaller bite-sized pieces which will also compact them in here a little bit well I shouldn't say compact them but reduce the amount of space they're taking so there we go it's crushed up to fish bite size put that green cover back on Throw that back on, and there it is. So next I'm gonna mount it onto my fish tank. All right, there's my fish tank, not in the cleanest condition, but it'll, it is due for a cleaning today. So um, let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna shut off the extra light I have here, because I think it's making it a little tougher to see. Okay, so I'm basically just turning this thing here, which is moving the this piece, and basically trying to get it to fit here. So from the looks of it, it's not gonna fit on this edge, so I'm gonna go ahead and try fitting it on this edge here. Yeah, that's a little bit better. So I wanna make sure it's nice and tight. Last thing I need is to have another feeder drop into the water. 
that's a feature. So the battery cap just flew off. Okay, so the fish feeder is has been installed. Next is the programming. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the little opening here. Opening it up, let's say about quarter inch. So as you can see, the batteries I put in only have two out of four bars apparently. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the unit on by pressing and holding the power button for three seconds. So from there, you wanna hit settings. So you press and hold settings and you're gonna be setting the clock first. So right now it is 12.28 my time. So I'm just gonna adjust it to 12.28. Okay, so once you've done the time setting, the next setting is configuring the feed time. So it's hard to see, but you see how the first box is flashing here? That means you're setting the time for the first box. So it timed out because I took too long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold the settings again. Click it a second time for the minutes. And now we're at the first feed session. So for me, I want my fish to eat every day at 1 p.m. So it's 24 hour clock, it's perfect. So I only want them to eat once a day because of course, if you feed your fish too much, it's gonna increase the nitrates, ammonia, and nitrate level. So you gotta have to just keep clicking set until you go through all the boxes. I'm on the third box now, fourth box, hour, minute. Keep clicking set and we're done. So now I've set the clock and I've set the first feeding schedule. Okay, so now we're back at the default menu. So uh, what we wanna do now is we wanna go back into the uh, feeding schedule. You probably could have done this in the last step I did. So as you see, the feeding time is flashing now. So if you press and hold the setup button while it's on the feeding schedule, I didn't hold it long enough. Now it's only the box at the bottom is flashing. So we're on the first feeding schedule. That's why the first box is flashing. So I click one. That means the drum's gonna turn once. Click it again, the drum's gonna turn twice. Same thing for the third. So in my case, I'm gonna have the drum turn twice. Click settings to confirm. And you're gonna have to press and hold settings. Not press and hold, but just click settings really quick to get out of there and go back to the default menu. So now we're back to the default menu. Uh, it's set the spin now at one o'clock or 1 p.m. twice. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the feeding chamber for a sec. If you wanna manually uh, feed your fish, you just click that button there. And that's what it does. So I've closed the feeding chamber because they're gonna get fed in 29 minutes. I don't wanna overfeed them. It gives you a little uh, sign there that says that the fish are being fed. And that's pretty much it for setup. So now we have our clock set, I have one feeding schedule set, and then I have three options. A couple other little options I wanna go through here that I was just reading through the manual. So if you press and hold the plus button, which is the up arrow for five seconds, it'll automatically feed them once at 8 and a.m. and once at 8 p.m. If you press and hold the minus button, also known as the down arrow, for five seconds, it'll delete everything and put you back to back three settings. So uh, other than that, um, like I said, I have one feeding cycle set, two turns at 1 p.m. every single day. Simple as that. So now it's basically, I just got to test it out for a few days and let you guys know what I think of it overall. Uh, as it stands right now, I'm going to go ahead and say for the price, it's a 10 out of 10. It does everything you needed to do. It's simple to set up, basic, takes two batteries, looks clean, pretty good overall. So. If you don't have an auto feeder and want a nice budget auto feeder, this is not a bad solution. Of course, I don't know how the uh, how much food actually comes out, so I'm gonna just test it here. Might as well. Okay, so in my case, I'm gonna be doing two spins, and that's how much food will come out per spin. So that seems a little. Uh, high but i do have quite a bit of fish in this tank so it's not too bad uh yeah i need to skim yeah i need to skim it here okay so uh, um thank you all for watching today if you have any questions or comments please leave them below 
Um, if you like my channel, please subscribe to it if you haven't done so already. It's uh, a way of you guys saying uh, thank you for doing videos, keep doing them. I'm doing this on my spare time just for fun and for your entertainment and uh, education basically. So that's it for today. Um, again, please like and subscribe. My butt out.